What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the penultimate legendary challenge bonds of friendship we'll be playing as cloud and zack here and this is the one challenge which made me think that maybe i will not be getting the platinum this time let's go over the equipment first rune blade saturn bracer and genji glove we have lightning and wind link to swift cast then enemy skill materia atb boost materia magic up materia and first strike materia the summon is phoenix then we have fire and ice material linked to elemental wind material linked to mp absorption another wind linked to hp absorption no sorry magic focus there then another wind linked to hp absorption weapon skills magic attack power plus 20 then trade off uh, sorry adp charge rate up and then full power magic and enemy parts damage up now as i was saying i thought i will not be getting the platinum in this game maybe because even after doing all those all the brutal challenges and the other legendary challenges i was stuck on this one like this one was really really a pain for me and that is mainly because we are playing with zack and zack really doesn't do much like he's really not good i have to say guys like all he is he good for is buffing up cloud and then it turns into a solo battle of cloud versus everyone else and cloud as i have talked about like he's not my personal favorite player like when you have to go into difficult boss fights with cloud it's tough first of all round 1 as soon as you start put cast stop on this guy cast stop on titan and then go go close to him with cloud use atb boost and then activate prime mode as soon as you have two atb you can maybe hit get two more hits in when his stop is active so that uh, cloud gets into fury mode like when you're using prime mode with uh, when you get four or six hits in like you uh, uh, activate fury and berserker or i guess it's berserker and fury whatever like when you're uh, this uh, you see below cloud where cloud is written there is a meter there which is filling up like when it gets filled up twice then cloud is in fury mode and he does more damage and he takes more damage so you have to be in fury mode to do more damage with your spells there having genji club uh, gloves helps with that so also one more thing sometimes it so happens that you don't start with one atb on zack if you don't start with one atb on zack just restart the challenge this is the first round you have not lost much second round hoya kotal like as soon as the round starts enter punisher mode and block sometimes very rarely he will use the full man attack which is his ranged attack when he does that dodge to the left and then activate atb boost and activate prime mode otherwise block his attacks twice and then activate prime mode again keep blocking him and once you have two atb build up just hit him with the wind level 3 while cloud is hitting him in the wind level 3 switch over to zack build up his atb because when this guy when this guy is hit with wind level 3 he's going to go up in the air and before he glands down we want to have stop on him and haste on cloud so i just casted haste on cloud and since this guy is coming down i am going to cast stop on him again back to cloud go into prime mode if he is not already in prime mode build up his atb and hit him with another wind level 3 this will almost stagger him uh, keep hitting him though i mean at this point if you want to be safe you can use uh, build zack's atb up and hit him with another uh, stop I did not do that because I was trying to save Zack's mana because I have played this challenge many times and what happens is that uh, sometimes when I by the time I finally get to round 10 which is Odin I don't have full mana on Zack uh, Cloud you don't have to worry about mana because when you we have MP absorption and with the damage we are doing with Genji gloves we almost always get all our mana back but Zack yeah you can lose mana you can run out of mana with Zack so you have to watch out for that but huya kotal is a bit difficult as i said round 2 round 4 and round 6 are the difficult rounds here like round 2 and 4 are really difficult like titan is difficult so the first four rounds are the more difficult ones and then round 9 and 10 are absolutely annoying this round not so tough because we have fire elemental fire and ice link to elemental on cloud so he will almost uh, you know what do you say absorb all the damage that phoenix does our main goal is with zack to have uh, zack's atb up and then activate uh, have faith been put up on cloud like make sure zack puts faith up on cloud and then he has two atb left here i think i don't go for it but you should definitely go for it whenever the phoenix pulls out enemy like he uses uh, his birth of creation attack uh he uses birth of creation he will create uh, he'll spawn new enemies just hit them with the wind level 3 and they'll be done apart and make sure you have not used your atb boost yet like don't use your atb boost because we are going to save our atb boost for when the third guy is dead when the third spawn of phoenix is dead which she is about to do at uh, uh, almost about to do 
once that happens again he's um, like stick to cloud don't go on zack because we want uh, to absorb all the damage we don't want zack taking damage you see there he's taking some damage but yeah wind level 2 on this gorgon on and then switch to zack and cast a blizzaga now you use atb boost with cloud and hit um, uh, the phoenix with the wind level 3 this will stagger him then get close to him build up your atb meter again and when you have two ATP bars, use a Blizzaga and that will pretty much end the Phoenix. That's it. This one, very easy round. This is actually a reprieve round or what you say, a refresh round for you. So, like, uh, this is easy. Like, till here, not too much damage, only Huya Kotel has been the one who has been a problem. But the next one is a problem. This demon guy is very tough. As soon as the round starts, enter Punisher mode and block. You have to block twice. I don't do that, but you should because when he's hitting you, hits you once and then he hits you twice. If you block and with Punisher mode or Prime mode activate, the thing is you press R1 for blocking once and then R1 again. So you block the second attack as well. You see, I'm getting hit there, but you can actually block all these attacks. So don't be like me, be smarter than me and you know, get this guy. Again, as soon as you have two ATBs up after Prime mode, activate uh, like hit this guy with um, uh, Wind level 3. Use uh, cast stop on him and as soon as you cast stop on him, cast uh, haste on cloud. This will give us enough time to build up two ATBs and hit him again and this will pretty much be it. If you want, you can move over to Zack and cast bravery on, uh, I mean faith on cloud as well so that he does more damage. But I don't think you have to and also stop after this once he gets hit uh, twice, it won't work on him anymore. So it's safe to just uh, stick to cloud and keep casting wind level 3. This wind level 3 will almost finish him finish him off or leave him with so little hell that we he will not be much of a problem. Like we can get him with our prime mode blocks now. So till so far so good. Let's get into round number four. I mean round number five, sorry. Round number five, the Kujata. Now Kujata fight is the most annoying fight of this whole challenge to be honest like because not because uh, he it is any level of damaging or like he can kill us because Kujata can pretty much not do anything to us with the uh, what do you say with the strategy which we are going to be using on him but because this Kujata has so much health getting him down like killing him takes so long time so that when, if you fail the challenge after you know fail the challenge you have to restart this challenge this fight this particular round always ends up taking three or four minutes and that gets a bit annoying because you're like okay i'm stuck here for 20 minutes or something again so yeah again once uh, uh, like wait for him to uh, pull out the elements you'll see he does that roar where light comes out of his mouth and he surrounds himself with some light as well that is where he pulls out um, uh, the elements and when he is doing this there you see this animation where he's doing that hit him with the wind level 3 to stun him and then just stay behind him and keep hitting him and keep building your wind level 3 that's it put a faith on cloud and a haste on cloud through zack and that is all you have to worry about you see there i am getting hit like a silly putty but you don't have to worry about it just have wind level 3 up wind level 3 will heal you wind level 3 will give you back your mp and that's it you just keep rinse and repeating that here he did get into the element but i was lucky enough that he got into the lightning element and lightning when he gets into lightning he is actually weak to wind uh, but you do have to watch out that now you are no longer absorbing his damages he can actually damage you you can be a bit quicker than me like as i said i was playing this actually this one this particular run i was like okay i am not going to make this i am almost given up so i was like you know i am just gonna keep trying and i play this with very little strategy like no preconceived thought like i was ready to lose this particular challenge i was like the run you're seeing me having right now i was totally okay with not making it to the end i was like you know what i'm just gonna go and try different strategies different theories and do something else than i'm usually doing i'm telling you what i am i am doing right i am not saying that like there's not much modification to the strategy but i was like you know what i'm just gonna go all out attack i'm not going to be very defensive this time and if i die i die so that is what I was thinking but luckily that strategy worked. So again hit Kujata, Kujata is dead. Now round number 6 is against the ironclad enemy I believe. Which uh, is uh, the thing is that we, this is the final enemy fought in Cloud's legendary challenge. So this guy is not so tough or so annoying in any way. But he does do a lot of damage like he does a lot of damage. So make sure you have uh, mana wall on Cloud when the challenge starts. ATB boost and then prime mode. 
then once cloud gets to atb all you have to do is stay behind this guy and watch out for his sword attacks or i mean his uh, hand sweep attack which he does behind himself rest he can do his whole combo and you will be behind him and you can you know easily get him whenever you hit him with a wind level 3 attack he will go down for a bit that is the time you have with zack to you know uh, build up zack's atb and cast haste or uh, faith on cloud so that is what I'm doing. I don't think I even bother with the faith on this one. This is the slap we have to watch out for. But since we were already in this attack animation, I think we dodged it. We did not take any damage. There I did take some damage. There I did some damage again. But now he, st he did the sharpen attack which gave me some chance to, you know, build up my fury meter. And there you guys see below on the uh, where cloud is written on cloud's meter that he has fury now. Like the red icon changes when he hits with uh, an enough prime attacks. So yeah, that is all we have to do. We just keep building up our ATB and keep hitting this guy. When he does that attack, that has some sort of an AOE, at, uh, AOE attached to it. So just watch out for that one. And that is it. Like, I think I can let the rest of this guy fight play out. Like, this guy does do a lot of damage. Thunderous Blade again, AOE. So dodge away. Then wind level 3. If he's casting Firaga, just stand in front of him while casting Firaga because you will absorb the damage. Just make sure Zack stays alive because even blocking Zack takes a lot of damage in this particular round and we want Zack in full health without using much of his ATB because the next round is the annoying one. We have Alexander and Alexander can be tricky. Like he cannot be, he's not very tough and there are a lot of things you can do with him which I know now and I did not know when I was trying the challenge at the first time. I will tell you all about it there. You see he's casting Firaga. We already have wind level 3 activated so I just hit him with a couple of hits and then use wind level 3 on it as you guys see i was just saving zack's mp there i could have had faith on cloud and you know done a lot more damage to this guy but i was not worried much because i know the trick with this guy i fought him enough times i had fought him enough times at this point so i was like you know let's just just roll out also with the amount of wind damage we are doing we don't even get to the point of having to as you say uh, stagger him like we kill him before we stagger him i do end up using a cure with zack no i do not so next round alexander this is very annoying because we have to use thandaga on him and we don't want to run out of mana with cloud so the first trick you need to do is use atb boost and uh, then uh, activate prime mode then get close to him and start attacking his um, uh, attacking his arms and till then make sure zack puts up mana wall on cloud now you see the ground waves that he's doing, you can counter fire those ground waves, you can counter fire this sweep attack also that he's doing which you see th throws me away or you can just block it, I'm not sure but you can do, uh, like you can actually in prime mode uh, deflect against these attacks. So there you see I hit a wind level 3 on that arm, I crippled that arm, now he is vanished so I'm just gonna put haste on cloud and now all, I is, all that is left is to put faith on cloud. He is doing the ground beam attack, laser beam attack. I, I could counter fire it, but luckily I landed away from it and I did not have to worry about it. So again, we put faith on cloud and then cloud does a uh, wind level 3. I'm only using wind level 3. If you use thunder level 3, you will definitely cripple the arms in one go. But because I have faith active, I was able to cripple them and I had already damaged them a bit, the arms a bit. I was able to uh, get him crip uh, like... Um, Get him stagger, get those arms broken with just uh, uh, wind level 3. Now, again, till he gets staggered, keep hitting him with wind level 3 because mana conservation is an important point. You don't get your mana back with thunder level 3. So, don't use lightning level 3. This one staggers him, and now a lightning level 3 will finish him off. I got a bit lucky on him, and you have to watch out that you finish him off on the first stagger. If you don't finish him off on the first stagger, then he can get his arms back up, and then you again have to go through the whole cycle of breaking his arms and then killing him. You can do it. I'm not saying it's not doable, but that way leaves you with very, very little mana, and that means you're pretty much done for the round. This one, Mind Flayer fight, again, a refresher fight. We just fought him with Kate Sith, as you guys saw in the last video. We are fighting him with Cloud and Zack. This time is going to be very easy, very easy, sorry, not easy. <laughs> Just uh, when he gets to you, activate prime mode and block both his attacks. Then when you have the ATB, use wind level 3. Build up some ATB with uh, Zack, you have to put cloud, uh, you have to boost cloud with bravery and faith. I have already boosted him in faith. Now I am going to boost him with haste. And that's it. Sorry, faith, uh, faith and haste. So faith and haste is what you have to uh, get up on cloud then just keep hitting this guy you can block more all his melee attacks in prime mode you see there i do that 
I hit him back. He'll do it again. And I'll hit him back. All you have to watch out for is when he vanishes and uses the Eldritch Horror trick. And then there are those homing orbs that he hits you with. And also when he's using Telekinesis, just keep dodging around. You may be able to dodge it or even if you're not able to dodge it, you can just hit him with the Wind Level 3 to stun him. Do not hit him with the Wind Level 3 right now. As you see, let him vanish and see that he's going for the Psychotic Break attack. Hit him with the Wind Level 3 when he's doing a Psychotic Break attack. To put him down, get him close to Stagger as well and you know uh, break his attack because otherwise you will have to use the whole uh, hide behind the rock stick rock trick with this guy so that's important that is the first thing you have to get off and once he's staggered he, we will be doing like enough damage on him but as i said this is a refresher round just keep dodging around uh, building your atb up uh, blocking him with prime mode and just casting wind level 3 this is a refresh round like make sure you have enough mp on zack because the next two rounds we are going to be losing uh, using up a lot of mp on zack and losing it and maybe not uh, we, i don't think we'll be entering odin with a full mp although i am going to try that but i don't think we'll be able to do that so let's see next round all right round nine versus bahamut first and foremost you need to make sure you have mana wall up on cloud with zack then activate atb boost if you can or just activate prime mode with cloud so that you know uh, when uh, he gets close you have to block him twice here i was activating climb mode nova bomb you can counter fire there you see i did counter fire it thruster spin also you can either dodge away there you see as i said i was not even interested in finishing this round i thought i will not be getting it uh, getting through it i paused the game and went out to take a delivery <laughs> like receive a delivery here but again vulcan cannon when he does flame cannon counter fire vulcan cannon can also be counter fired as you guys are seeing and then make sure you have haste up on cloud and then when he gets the chance get uh, mana wall also up on zack zack got grabbed which is a good thing because this will give us a chance to uh, hit him with the wind level 3 and save zack but now he's going to go into nova mode when he does that wind level to both his wings and that will get cripple them i'm just gonna use that uh, wind level 3 on both his wings that is going to pressure him and we give us a chance to damage him a bit and till then i'm going to build up some atp with zack to get mana wall up on zack and maybe even faith up on cloud i don't know if i'm be i'm going to be focused yeah, i got faith up on cloud i still don't have mana wall up on uh, zack you can have mana wall up on zack if you want i was like i'm not going for it i'm just building up my atp with cloud and hitting him with another wind level 3 with zack i might lose some i might lose zack at some point in this fight i'm not sure but again once he transforms again block him you can block his whirlwind slash keep pressing r1 then r1 again then r1 again then r1 again i did not do that but you should definitely do that zack is getting low on health so i just hit him with bahamut with the wind level 3 He's charging up again. I'm gonna go ahead and build up two meters of ATB with Cloud. So once he, while he's casting ATB, I'm going to get some ATB up for Zack, and uh, maybe you use him uh, like make him use. Uh, what do you say? Oh, there you see, I made a mistake over there. A real big mistake. I hit him with uh, with Bahamut with a wind level two instead of his wing. And now he's transformed. Now his that attack is almost charged up. But luckily he grabbed Zack again. And I was like, you know what, let me just build up ATB for Cloud and hit him with... this. Uh, these uh, grab attacks actually help a lot because... Um, but you have to make sure that you don't lose your party member doing this. Now, sorry, Cloud is grabbed but Zack is there. So I can just cure everyone with Zack. I built up some ATB with Zack as you guys can see. Again, use counter fire on him. Pressure him. He's going to use thruster spin, block it. And now again went level 3. Now... Bahamut is going to go into his charge mode again, but I think he's pretty close to staggered at this point. So, just you know, uh, there you see, he was able to charge it last time, so this time he did not go in the ent entire charge mode. But we were able to block and stagger him, lucky enough for us. And now I'm just gonna hit him with everything to make sure that he goes down. So, that's it. We got Bahamut as well. Uh, the last challenge took it, but now Odin, the run killer, like this so so annoying we need mana wall up on zack and cloud as soon as possible so first so as soon as the fighter starts mana wall on cloud as cloud dodge to the left atb boost and dodge to the left because you will either be hit with charge or the spear so you dodge the spear activate prime mode 
and now Otin is gonna come up with a charge. You can actually block all these attacks. Press R1 four times to block everything. I just press it two times. I am not that good as I want to be. Cast uh, as soon as you get uh, cloud uh, clouds ATB up. Cast uh, Eroga and then run away with Zack. Like hit him with Zack and run away. Before he ca uh, casts Slepnir's Furor, he casts Slepnir's Furor, I believe. And this Helm Cleaver, this uh, move that you see him doing, you have to make sure you. Uh, dodge away from it you see me blocking it i was stupid that move always we, uh, puts a big debuff on you and that is an annoying debuff like that this debuff is actually what i realized was killing all my runs so make sure that you dodge away from helm cleaver but there you see he's just going doing spear rampage and all these things and i know that this is not gonna kill me so just hit him with another wind level three he was about to cast uh, this uh, <coughs> Helm Cleaver again and I might be able, might have even gotten hit by it. I cast Bravery on Cla Faith on Cloud to make sure he does more damage. Now I'm just gonna build up my ATB and hit him with another Wind Level 3. This will help heal me. Gonna pick some ATB up for Zack I believe but no I'm like I, let's just keep hitting him with Cloud to make sure. And this is what I was doing you know I just kept hitting him as soon as my ATB came up. I know he was doing something. I usually used to wait for him to get because I know that he's going to jump in the middle of the battlefield and do special that his special whatever his obstruction or special destruction technique so I knew he was gonna do that but I just kept building ATP with cloud and hitting him he's gonna cast temporal distortion uh, I know he's going to cast temporal imp imprisonment and cloud is close to full health so I was like let's start controlling Zack now I built up some ATP for Zack I cured everyone I was like let's cure everyone Let's not waste around with this guy. He's gonna keep casting things. I know that now he's at this point that even one or two of his attacks can kill me. But he thankfully goes after Zack. And this gives me the chance to hit him with another wind level 3. And this will pretty much put him out of his misery. Because now only one wind level 3 will get me to the win. But he's casting another slippery furor. This one has an AoE. So watch out for that. He's casting temporal imprisonment. But because before he's able to finish off his animation we will be able to get him that is how we do it guys we finally got odin i'm so happy that i'm able to do it i really hope this guide helps you out please let me know any of your feedback in the comment section i really hope this guide was able to help you out i myself was at a point of giving up at this challenge but we made it we persevered so please do remember to like share and subscribe and share your love and as always, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games. This is your friend Galactus, signing off.